This is Laura Bell. It's February 28, 2014. There's Mamacita with her baby. The baby was born last night on the, actually on the 19th anniversary passing of my first horse, Star. And there she is. Look at the baby and Mamacita. I don't know if it's a colt or a filly yet. I just don't want to spook her. She's up um, right above the top of our property, below my neighbor's house. So, hi, baby. Look at the cutie. So there's Mamacita with the little baby. So I'm estimating the baby was born when I came out when my dogs were barking, and walked up to the top of the property because I heard horses nickering as well. That sounded um, a little unusual that they would be doing that out in the dark. So, um, anyway, I walked up and she had the placenta hanging out of her, which she actually dropped up top. I checked it out at about 1 in the morning, and it's up there. I'll bury it. But anyway, it looks like it was, the placenta was all intact, so it um, didn't look like she would have been retaining any of her placenta, which could make her toxic, but she, it doesn't look like any of it was retained. It looked like it was complete. So, anyway, look at the little cutie. Mama's looking at me. I'm at quite a distance. I just don't want to make them. I'm just happy she decided. Last year, she, when she had the other buckskin, Dun Colt, Zorro, she had taken off. The band had taken off for four or five days and then came back. So this time she stuck around and she had the baby right in some uh, loose hay at the top of my property next to some sagebrush. So... Look at that little baby. So there's the first video of Mama Sita's baby born on February 27th at approximately 10, 10, 15 p.m. right in there. Because I got, um, I had my headlamp off and then I turned it on briefly just in time to see the baby get up for the first time in its life. So there we are. Isn't that cute, everyone? We had another horse that had passed away yesterday at a foster in uh, North, Northern California, Cushing's mare that had come from the feedlot rescues. Her name was Teddy Bear Mare. She apparently passed away yesterday from older age and probably complications to an extent from Cushing syndrome, um, which is kind of like a form of, it's a slow-growing pituitary tumor, and it uh, affects the cortisol in the horse's body and one of my vets back in the mid 80s had described it as premature. My first horse star actually had Cushing syndrome as well and he described it as like a form of almost like premature aging so but anyway apparently Teddy Bear Mare passed away peacefully with the uh, foster person out there with her sitting with her um, anyway so we had Teddy Bear Mare who passed away yesterday and then we have my first horse star who had passed away 19 years ago yesterday uh, on February 27th. So here a new baby's born after those Teddy passes and star passed away 19 years ago. There's a cute little baby. Good job mamacita. Anyway I'll get some more photos. I'll walk a little closer and get more photos. Baby's tired. It's tough being born. Plus, it was kind of chilly last night, but um, these Mustangs and horses that live out here in the desert like this, I mean, we don't, as you can see, everyone, we don't have very pretty surroundings. I mean, we're kind of desolate out here. Um, this is where the horses live.